you can go green just by enjoying Samsung screens. Because we at Samsung spend our days working hard to make that happen. Samsung truly cares. From packaging, to your opening of the product, to even the disposal, the environment is high priority from our hands to yours. You don't need to be surprised at a large box nor excessive packaging. We can either recycle or reuse most of it. Screens have become varied, yet surprisingly, production and processing have become more eco-friendly. Our team's endless efforts keep every part constantly upgraded and simple, even the invisible parts inside, while ensuring the least amounts of metal and plastic are used. We diligently reduce plastic use while enhancing our battery-free technology. Use our remote control and take one step further towards an eco-friendly life. We've studied tirelessly to reduce energy consumption, even just a little bit, while you're watching our screens continually. Our remote management easily handles your energy usage, anywhere, anytime, no matter where your screens are. It saves energy according to ambient light levels, and even reduces the power when screens are in standby mode. Is that it? Absolutely not! Even that discarded packaging can be transformed into a work of art placed in your home. So, ask yourself, how has your day gone with your Samsung screen? Use Samsung screens, and now you'll join our journey to respect the environment from the birth of products to their retirement. Come join us. Everywhere, every day. As shown in the film, our promise is to work closely with our consumers at every step of the product life cycle, from sourcing and production to distribution, use, and finally, recycling. Let's start with sourcing and production. We're taking the lead in three ways. Recycling CO2, using fewer materials, and upcycling materials. Many companies are working toward reducing their carbon footprint. But we're going a step further by using CO2 to create materials. By collecting CO2 released into the air from PET manufacturing and recycling it as low carbon resin to make Samsung TVs. This helps us cut down on CO2 significantly. We also developed injection technology that can reduce the usage of raw material without altering the quality of the product. It injects air into the mold to partially replace resin, eliminating the need to inject the materials as tightly as before. This has helped reduce the weight of our 65-inch TVs by one kilogram. We're also upcycling. Parts of our TVs are now made from discarded secondary batteries, discarded fishing nets, and waste metals. By collecting and upcycling waste into usable materials, we're directly contributing to the reduction of waste in our landfills and ocean, and making our products more sustainable with less environmental impact. Let's move on to distribution. We want the journey from our factory to our customers' hands to be as green as possible. So, we made a major effort to ensure our packaging is sustainable, from the box to all the wrapping inside. First, we cut down on oil-based ink printed on the cardboard and took out all metal staples and replaced them with glue. Boxes are faster to assemble and easier to take apart and recycle. We also made the packaging smaller, so everything requires fewer materials and less space. 
This reduces the load on transportation by 20%. Fewer trucks on the road and more efficient deliveries. We made sure to pay attention to the inside of our packaging as well, especially to reduce plastic. Now all our bags, box clips, and straps are made from more than 50% recycled plastic. And we've changed the plastic tapes and coils into paper. Now let's talk about how our products are being used. This is a key part of the life cycle and we're constantly innovating to help our users save energy. Right from your phone or TV, you can easily activate AI energy mode and monitor energy consumption and usage patterns. This puts you in control of your household energy consumption, helping you save more and spend less. We also develop features to help you save electricity while watching TV. AI energy mode can even analyze the content playing on the screen and separate the main subject from the background with AI technology to distribute light accordingly. For example, background trees will be dimmed while keeping the main character bright. This helps reduce power consumption without distracting you from the content. In other words, we can continue delivering great product experiences while also helping you save energy. And one more thing before we move on to recycling. Our third generation solar cell remote was recently launched. We introduced it for the first time in 2021 and we have continued to upgrade it. The first generation remote could be charged by sunlight through the solar panel. The second generation used radio frequency harvesting technology for indoor charging. And for our third generation, we enhanced the design with a single chip, using fewer materials and making it more compact. We even opened the patent on the technology so the remotes could be built by anyone. From the very beginning of our products to the moment our customers retire them and move on to the next one, we've created innovative designs and treatment processes that breathe new life into what would otherwise be thrown out. First, we recycle our EPS cushions. These are the plastic styrofoam pieces that protect our products. We make sure to bring them back to the facilities and use them to make new EPS cushions. We are committed to creating more of these circular solutions. Our cardboard boxes can be reused too. We created our eco packaging with dotted lines that can be folded into different household items. It's like origami, but more practical. By building sustainability into the product manufacturing and experience, we can help many of our users to contribute to building a healthier planet for future generations. We want to make TV accessible for everyone. Samsung Electronics has been working with a variety of partner organizations to develop a comprehensive range of accessibility features. This year, we developed Relumino Mode. It's designed to help people with visual impairments more easily watch content. The technology received a CES Innovation Award, and we could not be more proud of it and its potential to make a difference in people's lives. And when you switch to Relumino Together Mode, Everyone can enjoy content from the same screen at the same time and share great moments. Here's a short film with director Sheridan O'Donnell on how Relumino Mode helps him keep doing what he loves. My name is Sheridan O'Donnell, and I'm a film director, critic, and movie lover. In early 2020, while making my first feature film, I was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa, a rare degenerative eye condition, and it slowly leads to legal blindness. When I had just been diagnosed in those first few months, I really did think, I'm not gonna make movies anymore. And after a couple months, I just realized, film is about the vision in your mind's eye, not the fullness of your ability to see. I turn to adaptive technology so I can keep doing what I love. Samsung is about to launch their newest accessibility feature, which I'm really excited about. It's called Relumino Mode. With my condition, I have reduced peripheral vision and difficulty making out low contrast images and shades of color. 
A person with non-impaired vision may not have a problem viewing this film, but to low vision viewers, it can look like this. Now let's see how Relumino mode can help. This is a scene from Flush, a short film I wrote and directed before I was diagnosed with RP. It's still one of my favorites that I've made, and seeing it from a new perspective reminds me of the passion and talent I still have for visual storytelling. Relumino mode outlines objects in the image more clearly with enhanced contrast ratio, brightness, color, and sharpness. When it all comes together, this is what Relumino mode would look like to someone with low vision. With the images enhanced, I can truly see how it can help me in the filmmaking process. With accessible technology like Relumino mode, I can continue to express myself and never lose sight of the possibilities. I believe Relumino mode has the power to help people on the blindness spectrum experience movies and entertainment in a new and meaningful way. People like me, your neighbor, your friend, or your family. Because accessibility is how we connect with the world around us, and most of all, each other. Accessibility is really about innovation that's created for every need.